with the next set of questions for psychology which were asked in the 2001 paper now here Levin asserted that the avoidance avoidance conflict are more stable that's correct and uh, the opposing force tend to remain in a state of disequilibrium now uh, the approach avoidance is a state of disequilibrium however since it is more stable it is relatively more stable and is towards equilibrium so the reason is incorrect the assertion is correct here diffusion of responsibility means if there are many people seeing an incident none of them would actually help the victim thinking that other person would help now this is one of the experiments that we have dis uh, discussed in detail in our video lectures so go through those lectures again ex uh, extensively the next is uh, uh, regarding the synaptic uh, neurons so here which of the following describe the enduring facilitation of the synaptic transmissions which occur following the activation of synapse by high intensity high frequency stimulation of presynaptic neuron so if we have high intensity and high frequency stimulation of the presynaptic neuron we call this process as the long term potentiation extremely important we have covered this when we have been uh, focusing on the concepts of the uh, transmission through the nervous system now relative and absolute refractory period is again important relative uh, refractory period is more intense uh, and it makes the neuron moving in a relative refractory period however in an absolutely ref absolute refractory period we understand that the action potential reaches the peak and then the cell cannot fire anymore so that's what is known as the absolute refractory period the next is the woman who learns that she has been deprived of the promotion to a higher job and turns back in the boss office with temper tantrums now this is an example of regression so regression means going back to the earlier stage of development and this is what is called as regression so in a regression the person would show temper tantrums like a small child in sublimation the woman if denied of pro promotion would divert her frustration for uh, for not going to home uh, until the work is done in an appropriate manner and dealing with a situation in a much more professional way much more uh, much more uh, matured way reaction formation is there is intense anger uh, for the boss but you see the boss you keep smiling so all these defense mechanisms we have covered in detail uh, in the lectures and also in the study material so just go through those uh, the defense mechanism extremely important topic every time you have at least one question from this section the next is nafs nafs is self and sufism from lower to higher order which of the following is correct so the first is inspired self followed by the serene self then there is the pleased self followed by the self pleasing to god and finally the pure self so those are the correct order in the in the concept of self in sufism from lower to higher and the pure self is the highest order of consciousness where one is completely surrendered to the wishes of god and that's what is explained now socrates greek philosophy is important which of the following is not true about eudaimonia now uh, according to eudaimonia Eudaimonia, being virtuous is important. It stands for a happy uh, and a flourishing lifestyle more than just attaining pleasure. Being virtuous in uh, is almost identical to eudaimonia. So one, two, and three are the right options. Four is the incorrect option. So uh, it. focuses on a happy state being in a good spirit while being virtuous and focusing on one's own character strength the next is glass cliff glass cliff is a gender stereotype schism is an ideological change in the core aspect or the split or the differences in the group then we have elaboration likelihood model that focuses on the central root and the peripheral root and realistic conflict theory that talks about intergroup competition so again an important aspect 
The next is in which school of Indian thought, Prakriti remains isolated as a principle of ultimate reality and is only in presence and service of Purush. So what, uh, where do we talk about Prakriti and Purush? It's in the Sankhya. So under Sankhya, as you can see from this Ahankar, we have the Mahat and this is the Purush and the Prakriti. Mahat is the cosmic energy or what we call as Buddhi. Okay, Ahankar is the ego and then this ego turns out into Sattva, Rajas and Tamas. So Tamas is the negativity. So uh, Akash, Vayu, Tejas, Jal and Prithvi are the elements of Tamas. Sattva, we have the five sense organs, the five motor organs which is the mouth, hand, feet, uh, excretory organs and reproductive organs and finally the mind which is an organ of action and cognition. So that's as per the Sankhya philosophy. The mayor Salve Corso's emotional intelligence test measures what? So this test actually measures, perceives the emotions, understand the emotions and use emotions to facilitate the thought. So all these are measured by the MSCET test which is the mayor salovey crossey emotional test. Clear? Extremely important. It is constructed only for children above 17 years and measures on four, uh, four things. And one of the things which is missing here is managing emotions.